So, Van der Darcy, you're both recent graduates of a creative writing degree. What challenges have you faced so far upon trying to enter the workforce and trying to break into the creative field in Australia? I think the first thing I need to say is it's not really that big. Um, so it's... Of a... Of a field, field. Yeah. yeah. Like there's not a lot of room to break in. Um, so I guess that's the first difficulty. There's a lot of people trying to get in. I think in my case, a lot and a lot of the people who do creative uh, arts, not just creative writing, is that they don't have a lot of experience and that's kind of why they do creative arts because they enjoy doing it. And then when they get out of it, they have no experience in the workforce and you need experience to get into the workforce of some kind. And I have absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I've got a degree that's useless and I've got no work experience, which is also useless. So, with your degree though, do you think you've made contacts that could help you in the future getting further into the creative field of things? Uh, I suppose so. Nothing, nothing concrete. I think right now it feels like, like Darcy was saying, the, the, the degree's a bit useless, but I think the skills that we've acquired um, are going to be with us you know, forever, and that'll help us. Um, also, the people that we've met, like the workshopping groups and stuff. Um, these fellow artists, really, they're the, the main resource that I think we've gathered uh, from this degree. Um, and so being able to use that to bounce our work off, and if they do get in the publishing industry, that's a foot in the door, or just, you know, a name that we can drop or whatever. So I think eventually, our kind of web of contacts will expand and be useful, but at the moment it feels a bit hopeless. And, alright, put on the hat of an optimist here, both of you, um, best case, what, what would you like to do creatively, ultimately? Um, I think I would really like to be, well, I mean, you know, best of the best would be working yeah. in a film or a TV series of some kind or whatever. Um, but. I think a slightly more realistic goal would be some kind of um, magazine or you know, some kind of journalistic uh, publication that I'm involved in on some level. Uh, I'm fairly confident that it'll involve you know, climbing the ladder, like starting off as an intern or whatever, and then slowly getting further up. But um, yeah, something like that. And do you, do you see any clear trajectory to get to you know, the goal that you're aiming for? Like, can you see, like you said, climbing the ladder, do you think that there's any way you can really do that in Australia in the creative field, or do you, is it is it all about lucking into it, you know, knowing the right people, that sort of thing? I don't really know where the ladder is. Like, <laughs> I'd like to find the base of it so I can start climbing. <laughs> um, so I think the answer to that question is no, as much as I'd love to put on that optimistic hat. Um, but I guess, you know, once you find the first rung, hold on as tight as you can and then just scale it like a monkey. I, cool. think, I think it's a mix of knowing the right people. Um, I mean, with so, stuff like Twitter, you can follow the people who are involved with the magazines that you are interested, like, ideally to work with, and you can see what they are like as people because they tweet, you know, as well as yeah. things to do with their work, they tweet about their, just their life. So, so do you, with Twitter, do you think being in the 21st century? you have more of a chance of getting to that ideal position than you would have, say, in the 80s or the 90s, you know, before the advent of social media. Do you think social media is a helpful tool for creative people in Australia? I'm going to say yes. Um, yeah, to an extent. I mean, I don't know much about how writers and journalists, um, how easy it was for them to get into the business back then, but um, just stuff like having your own blog and having your own work on the blog. Yeah, is something you can do a platform then. that you can yeah make your own ladder. There we go. And get hey. attention. You can like it was a lot harder to get attention back in those days. Yeah. And like with the whole global social media sort of thing, because it's being globalized, it sort of negates the need to necessarily move to LA um, straight away um, if you do want to get somewhere in the film industry. And like you can get noticed as an Australian rather than getting over there and starting a whole new life or whatever. Yeah, to get starting from scratch again. That's exactly right. Um, so I guess it takes some of the risk out, but at the same time, that globalisation is focused on 
everyone, right? So yeah, so it's flooded the flood the pool even even more than it already is. Yeah, that's exactly right. So while the individual might have more chance, there's millions more individuals. All right, cool. Thanks for talking to me. All right, no worries.